Hey guys, I'm actually outside today just doing like a little mini update on what's going on as far as like refunds go, when we're starting the season, any kind of information I have about that. Um, I just want to start off by saying two things, which are I hope everyone is staying well and staying at home. If you're essential, thank you for obviously going through all of the uh, things you have to go through to help us stay healthy. And the second thing is um, thank all of you, or I want to thank all of you for um, all of the well wishes and congratulations and all of the positive things you have put about the engagement. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I did recently get engaged and uh, Ben was sneaky enough to record it, so we uploaded it to YouTube, of course. Um, so as we all know, the season is like postponed as we know so far, it hasn't been canceled. Uh, the LA Times just recently released a um, article about two fans who are suing the MLB for not giving refunds and they're also in with MLB as StubHub, Ticketmaster, and a couple other third party sites that are affiliated with the MLB. Um, they're seeking ticket costs and fees refunded and according to the suit over 100 fans are ready to file claims against the MLB for not providing refunds. Now I totally understand that we've missed quite a few games okay it's baseball was supposed to start over a month ago and it hasn't so that can be frustrating but at the same time they don't know what's going on we bought tickets for our vacation for a Pittsburgh game and I use SeatGeek as a um, third-party site to get those and they were expensive tickets because we splurged for being on vacation and I haven't got my refund for them either and on their uh, frequently asked questions page about refunds they do mention until the game is completely canceled by the MLB, they will not be issuing any refunds. So if for some reason that game gets rescheduled, um, it was the Pirates versus the Reds, so that is you know within the same league, they could possibly reschedule that one and then I would have to sell those tickets, I wouldn't be able to get the refunds. So keep that in mind, just know that the MLB doesn't know anything yet and neither do the season ticket holder reps. So I know you guys are calling the ticket offices, I know it's really frustrating, I agree with you. Thankfully, I'm only a quarter season ticket holder, so I'm not out that much money right now. So with those of you who are full season ticket holders, I understand your frustration, but your reps don't know anything yet. I contacted mine, let her know about the SeatGeek website saying June 8th is the tentative start date for the MLB, and that is completely incorrect. They have not received any information about when the MLB is starting up. We've all heard the rumors about possibly starting up in the Cactus League and the Grapefruit League. Um, that is probably what's going to happen in my honest opinion. There won't be any fans in attendance. I don't know at what point we're going to be able to start the season. Obviously, you know, spring training is a, such a, a, like, such an important part of the MLB season because these guys cannot get injured. They need time to warm up. They need time to go through all of their workouts. They just need time to get back in shape. And obviously they started that, but now it's been over a month since that's ended. They need to go through all that again. So even if the virus is over and say business is open on June 1st, I don't see the MLB starting back up until late July, if not August. And it definitely will be a shortened season. The best case scenario, in my opinion, is that they do start the games in the Grapefruit and the Cactus Leagues again and don't have fans. And then hopefully by playoff time, fans will be able to go into the cities. I mean, the only thing they could do, they do make a ton of money like for the city and for all the players. They upcharge everything for playoffs, we all know that. So that's one way that they can make some more money. I do want to give the MLB a shout out for donating money to try to help the employees who aren't currently working. And also, if you guys haven't seen, the beer guy is actually doing home deliveries. I'll try to link his thing down below if you want to get beer and have it delivered to one of your friends. I haven't done it because I don't live in the Cleveland area anymore. I live near Columbus. Definitely something good to look into. I did get an email today from my season take a holder rep. And please know these people will contact you when they know something. And if you call, you might get a long wait time and they're not going to have any information for you. A really good resource is these Facebook groups because as soon as one person gets an email, usually they'll share it and then you'll be able to see what's going on. And just in case, your email would happen to go into your trash folder. Um, I mark mine as VIP so I don't miss anything. But like I was saying today, she sent me an email of a way to earn extra tribe rewards, which might be in like come in handy later because I think we're gonna have to use those to get the giveaways that they were going to give away this year. Because obviously if they can't play at home and they don't have any fans, they're gonna have to do something with all those giveaways. And there were some really good ones this year. So. I would suggest doing the tribe trivia, which they just released today. It sounds like they're going to put out two questions every day or every couple days and you earn 
bonus points for that. It didn't specify in the email how many you get. It does take a couple days to load onto your account. So even though I just answered my two questions today, it hasn't hit my account, so I can't give you the information as to how many points that you're gonna get. But I would suggest going to that. If you go to your Tribe Rewards website, click the three little lines up here in the right-hand corner and click on Tribe Trivia, it will let you answer the questions. Um, and like I said, it was only two. I don't know if it's always gonna be two, but it's a good way to get some extra points. Um, that's pretty much all I had for today. I'm double checking my notes here. I just wanna do a quick video. I understand your frustration, guys. I'm frustrated too. I miss baseball. We haven't been able to coach our little league team. You know, our whole vacation got canceled. Ben was actually gonna propose in Cooperstown. That didn't happen because of this coronavirus. Um, the biggest thing you can do right now is just stay healthy. We all wanna be here to see the tribe win the World Series this year. As soon as baseball starts, we know that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> that's what we hope is gonna happen. So please keep doing what you're doing. Please stay home. Order online if you want to get some cool tribe stuff. Um, Poshmark, I can't. I made a video about that. It's a great place to get some like older tribe merchandise. Um, every big company is having sales right now. I get emails every day from Lids in the MLB shop. So go on there if you're like Jones and for some baseball. Check out the other two um, YouTubers that I have spoken out to. I don't know how to word this. That I have shouted out some props to. I guess in previous videos, if you just Google or search on YouTube Fuzzy. He has great videos, really entertaining, really intelligent, has tons of information, does a lot with Trevor Bauer. I know he's no longer a tribe member, but still. Um, he talks to a lot of other baseball players. And then Baseball Bits for me is entertaining because it tells a lot of history and stories and trivia for baseball, and it's all done in 8-bit form. And that's on Foolish Baseball. So if you go to those two channels, it's a good way to stay entertained. Watch some older games. I know it's not always fun. Maybe reorganize some of your collection. Um, join the Bobblehead group on Facebook because that's another good way that you can get some goodies. Um, I actually need to redo my office. I have some stuff to hang up, but Ben is currently working from home, so I'm unable to hang everything up that I wanted to. So just stay safe, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll try to post on here more often. I got a little carried away with the engagement, but um, I do have some other ideas for some videos. I just need to shoot them, and I'll catch you on the next one.